On this episode of PTs of TV, we're going to focus on custom paintwork. First, we'll show you the application of some traditional flames, and then we're going to show you a really radical PT cruiser that is something I don't think you're going to catch your dad driving. Don't say you haven't been warned. Well, one of the most common things that people seem to be doing to their PT cruisers these days is flames. It seems like not a week goes by that we're not doing some flames on something, so I figured I'd bring you guys in and give you an idea of how we, we go about doing that. There's many different ways to, to do the flames, and the, traditionally people are using like laser cut uh, templates and everything. I'm more of the old school style where I just lay it out in a blue fine line tape and just kind of get a feel for how it should flow. In this case we're going to do basically the traditional layout, however instead of the traditional orange to, to yellow fading we're just going to use a chrome illusion paint which is a color shifting paint. We're going with a fire mist metallic that'll change from a copper to a, um, a violet and a gold color. We pinstripe the edge of the flame. We clear it again, another three coats of clear before we color sand and give it its final buff and then ready for reassembly and down the road. While the flames can give any car a unique personality, this next cruiser we're going to show you started out with flames about three years ago, and now it's back at PTs are getting a facelift to something totally unique. Check this out. The first step to any custom paint job is the disassembly. This particular client wanted it to look like a black diamond when it was going down the road. This is the black diamond effect that we're trying to get for the PT Cruiser. That uh, It's actually a mix of black gunmetal and chrome metal flake all mixed together in a bag. And the technique used on this, this is kind of old school from the 50s and all of that. And the, the idea is you lay down a, um, a base coat of black, which is a black diamond base coat that House of Color has. Uh, we go over that with a one coat of clear and then it takes two painters to do it. One person lays the clear down and the other person goes over it with the metal flake gun It actually is applied dry. It's a dry spray gun. After that you go back and clear it two or three more times to lock the metal flake in place. This particular stuff has been cleared twice and it's still really rough to the touch so it's going to probably need another at least ten coats of clear before it's um, ready to be buffed. Because the process of applying all the clear coats on the car was going to be really time consuming and we were under a deadline, we took the hood off the car and the airbag cover and we took that over to Coast Airbrush and we had Rhino over there do a, a Jolly Roger type skull and crossbones. We took the sample of the, the template that we used for the headrest to Rhino and said hey this is what we want exactly this on the hood and on the airbag cover. Um, it was all we could do to harness them to not just go completely crazy and have a really wild thing going on but what we ended up with was uh, exactly what he wanted, it came out perfect. Coast Airbrush is located in Anaheim, California and um, I tell you what, it's a one stop shop for any kind of custom paint, any kind of artist that's looking for airbrushes or pearls or candies or metal flakes and just there's some incredible artwork on the walls over there and great bunch of guys. It's, it's a fun visit just to go by and see what they're doing. When the reassembly came we had to be super careful because 
after putting all that material on the car, the tolerances were like way smaller than they used to be between the fenders and doors and, and the hood and the fenders and stuff like this. Slowly and very carefully, we began assembling the car. The only thing missing was the wheels and tyres. You can't do a custom PT Cruiser without doing some really cool rims and the best place to find the largest selection of rims is here at Direct Wheel in Los Alamitos. They've got everything you could want. There were a lot of choices in there but we settled on the Jesse James 44 Magnum rims and we squeeze some 20s under the rear and 18s on the front. It's a perfect combination for the car and it just finishes it off great. Thanks for joining us on another episode of PTs of TV. I hope you enjoyed watching it. I'd like to give a special thanks out to House of Color, Coast Airbrush, and Direct Wheel for their participation in this build. I'd also like you to stay tuned to PTsa.com to check out our upcoming episodes. There's some really interesting stuff coming up. I think you're going to like it.